So what I absolutely love about Japanese packaging, well, obviously the packaging, but secondly is when things come in boxes, like such, like this, right? They give you a display so that you know what's inside, like what this box actually contains. Because you can't see what's in here, but they give you an example of what you can expect in there. I love that. Let me show you some better examples. This one was kind of, this was kind of weak. Sorry, I just messed up all of the display. So, for example, like these, right? You want to know if you want to gift it to someone. You want to know what exactly you're going to be buying, right? But you can't tell because it's wrapped and it's so cute and so neat. So, they tell you right here. This is what you could expect inside. Same thing. So it shows you, and it shows you what the inside looks like too. Let me see, focus. For example, this one. See? It shows you what the inside is. Check out all of these bento box selections so that you could take on the bullet train with you. And these are all ready to go. Look at this. And sushi was once actually fast food. So you can eat it on the go. Look at this. Oh my goodness. No. I, I, I'm eating now. Look at all of this. All of this looks amazing. What do I eat? This is the hardest decision of my life. Look at all of this. What am I supposed to do? What are you getting? This is so good. Yeah, that one's the one that you just pull the string and it heats itself. I got one of those. But then, no, everything here is cold. Oh, everything here is cold. Oh, you can heat it up. No, it's bento boxes are like cold. That's the way that they go. I already know what I'm going to get. What are you getting? I'm going to get the katsu one with the rice ball. I kind of want sushi. Oh no, what do I get? Okay, okay. Finally on the bullet train and everyone had the same idea when we were like, oh, finally get to relax. Because literally we've been like walking the entire time. So we have David and Mariel. We have Casey and Tiff, Sean, Gina, Josh, Joe, Jess. We have the Moz. I think that's everyone. Oh, and Tommy and some random dude. What, stupid? Listen, Matt, you call me stupid one more time, see what happens. <gasps> Ow, my nail! My face, Ow. your nail! <laughs> nail? Ow. My nail's on you. <laughs> Hate you. Uh, we're actually about to eat right now. The, the most Japanese thing that you can do is get a bento box. And since we have a two hour train ride, we're gonna eat here. So this is a bento box. I got a katsu. I couldn't make up my mind and then Bart made up his mind so quickly that I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna go with what Bart wants because I have no idea. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Speak to her only in Chinese. Okay. So he wants her to speak only in Chinese. And I'm excited to eat. Sorry for the interruption. Alright. Get this presentation. Oh my goodness. It's like unwrapping a Christmas present. Look at this. Ooh. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Yes, oh, this you is are. Boxy. You're very worthy. Try to warm it up a bit. Mm. So I have white rice, katsu pasta, and potato salad, and radish. Okay? Yep. Yeah. Oh. I need a knife for this. I'm not gonna open this. Oh, ha ha ha, I like that. And I'm gonna put the katsu on top. And it's ready to eat. This one, unfortunately, is not warm. They did give me fair warning, but it's okay. The one that Bart got yesterday, though. That thing is amazing. You just pull the string like you guys saw, and then it just heats everything up. I'm ready to eat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
is so yummy. You guys should really appreciate Bart's Instagram post because it literally takes him like 10 to 20 minutes to edit and write the captions to each one. I'm almost done with my food. He hasn't even opened it yet because he's so into completing the caption for his IG post. So that's the part of the Instagram experience. Oh. The caption is just as important as the picture. And yeah. I love that. I mean, I don't even write stuff online. You're amazing for doing Thank that. Thank you. It's so insightful. Mine are just so stupid selfies. Huh. They should follow you at Bart Kwan. I think they should. At Bart Kwan, follow me. And Geo, uh, at Geo underscore Antoinette. You'll get daily updates from <laughs> what's going on on my Instagrams. Yeah, look at this. He's been working on this since the castle. No, 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 since the first train, right? It's been like 20 yeah. minutes. No. <laughs> You're so cute. You promise? You big bozo. Oh, but this is so good. And it's not even warm, it's like room temperature. I mean, it's pretty damn chilly out here. What are you doing? What do you mean? What are you doing right now? Nothing. No. What are you looking up? Uh, just different ways to love you better. No. Pull that up. Pull that picture up. <laughs> Keep going. No, where's the price tag one? There it is. Six thousand dollars, can you believe it? What's a reduced new price? It used to be eight thousand. So you saved two thousand dollars. Why are you looking at that? Because I'm thinking about getting one. <laughs> what are you gonna do with it? You're gonna put out the JK office. And just have it as decoration. Yeah, so when the perpetrators come in, they know not to fuck with us. We're warlords in this motherfucker. Are you trying to put it on? No. But you can make it custom water to your body. <laughs> what inspired this? Well, because we just came from the Osaka Castle. And it was built by a warlord. By um, Hideyoshi Toyotomi. So... Now I want a samurai suit that is fucking badass. You're ridiculous. You waste no time. It's only been like an hour or two since we saw that. And now. Well, I'm not a procrastinator, you know? That's kind of how I roll. Like, when I think of something, I want to act upon it. I don't want to, like, wait till the last minute. Like, you don't want to be the guy that turns it home the last minute. Yeah, but be ahead of the schedule. Fine. I'll give you that. Are you really going to buy something? Maybe I'm going to talk it over with Joe. Cause it is company money, so we'll figure out. We'll figure that out. Oh my god! <laughs> he already paid for it. Oh my god! What did I get myself into here? What are you talking about? You know that's fucking badass. It is really fucking badass. See? But six thousand dollars worth of badass? Yeah, who else would have that shit? I don't know about that. That's fucking awesome. No one else would have that shit at their house. So, girls always think of, of this as a $6,000 piece of decoration, uh -huh. while the men always think of it as a $6,000 uh, inspiration and motivation. For yeah. what? For us to be better. Don't you want us to be better people? But you're a great you know? person already. But I can always be better. You know how good he would feel if he were to wear that? If he was to put it on, you know how much inspiration he'll get? How good he'll feel, all that positivity? Yeah, but that's what you have a wife for. That's what they do. But yeah, they but that's another thing. That's something else. That's something else. <laughs> you know? Imagine I put this motherfucker on and I have my AR-15. Who the fuck's gonna fuck with me? I think you guys are saying different things. He's no, doing it. I'll just double. So first you get inspired and motivated. And then so you kill it at being a husband, a father, a son, whatever. And then you put that motherfucker on and you pull out your AR-15. Who the fuck's gonna fuck with you in a samurai suit and an assault rifle? Pretty much he's saying the world is his. Yep. You're, you're like his little devil shoulder no. angel. Yeah. All guys like, think do like it. this. Great friends right. think alike. That's what it is. You want one too? I would love to have one. Fuck yeah. But I need a kid size. You know, so it's probably half the price. So I'm good. It's handmade in Japan. Go ask Joe. Ask Joe what he thinks about samurai suit. Joe, oh hold up, shot. Josh is in the shot. Joe, do you really want a samurai suit? Is that even a question? <laughs> <laughs> I was telling her. I was telling her. Imagine, I put on a samurai suit. 
and I bust out my AR-15. Who the fuck's gonna fuck with me now? <laughs> Modern warrior, homie. And Joe wants the blood and the crit version. Look at this, David. <laughs> Six thousand dollars. Are you gonna get that? No, I want Why? to. Why? Handmade Why? in Japan. By it's hand. Go. By Japanese hands. How come you have such a disapproving look on your face? I didn't say that. Okay. I'm just very curious. I'm just dissecting the male retarded mind. What? Well, but see, that's what I'm saying. You're already so disapproving of it. No, I'm, I'm not. I think it's pretty badass. Okay. Because I was about to say, I was about to ask him what's wrong with you. We put that at the office. Who the fuck's going to fuck with us? <laughs> Ain't nobody going to fuck with we us. We should hire somebody to be inside of it. <sighs> no, Bart wants to be inside of it. All day? No, my fuck's got to work. No, if someone, <laughs> if someone comes and fucks with us, I put it on and I pull out my guns. <laughs> Dog, you ever know how long it's gonna take for you to put this on? <laughs> Hold up, G. I know you're trying to rob us right now, but <laughs> it's like an hour later. I know. It's not like that Batman montage where it takes like an hour to put it on. <laughs> That's tight, dude. Where did you? I know. I know exactly. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> exactly. Great question. That's tight, dude. You're ridiculous. You got a shit you get that bear stick, Oh, yeah. Oh, this is your purse. He wants a sword now. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so. I've been holding this dessert all day. Because here, you're really not supposed to be eating in public. And there's just so many rules. We were constantly on the go. So I've had this cake in here for about five hours now. Five hours? You've been carrying it for five hours? Yes. For five what hours. The hell? And they packaged it because that's what everyone else in Japan does. They hold it for five hours. So they package it so that you can be on the go. And then by the time you get home, it's perfect. So to start off with, they give you a spoon. Good old ass spoon. And then they give you this little ring so that the, the dessert's not sliding around in the box. In addition to that, they, think they, of everything, they, don't they give you an ice pack so that it's cold. What? No Plus, way. It's been five hours. Wow, now. it's still kind of cold though. Yeah, it's still chilly. Or chill. So they knew that we would share, so they gave me two. And then here's the dessert. It has little gold flakes on it. Look at that. <laughs> That looks like one person serving. What the fuck is going on? Give me the traditional Japanese hairstyle. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> that looks good, Anna. I fit in now with the locals. You need to look yeah. uniform now. You're missing an earring. An <laughs> earring? <laughs> oh my god. Alright. And we're back. Alright. Oh my god. Is it that good? So it's raspberry? Yeah. Bread with this bread it has like walnuts, cream, and then another layer of bread. And it has gold flakes on top. Oh, that's good. Pretty yummy. What's that sound? Gonna stop soon. Gonna stop soon? Yeah. Fine. Huh? Oh, look, there's more people. We could have done it. Poor Isaac. Like I was like not even having it. That was like our crew right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that poor lady. Oh. <laughs> We're doing them a favor. Hey, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Wow, everyone's so squished. <laughs> Finally back home, and I must say, it feels really nice to come back to Tokyo where my home is, even though it's mega hustle and bustle here, it's like, what time is it right now? Oh, maybe It is. Thank you. I couldn't get to my watch. It is 9 p.m. Okay, so it's 10 p.m. and people were still sprinting 
uh, in the station from one train to the other or trying to catch a train. It was crazy. And I'm like, where are you guys sprinting to? Like, it, it seemed like they had a meeting to go to or like some really important event. And I'm like, what the hell? It's late. You guys should be going home. Um, but I mean, it's, that's just the kind of hustle and bustle that's out here. But regardless of how fast paced and everything is out here, it's really nice to come back. I don't know. I just feel like this connection to this place now. I like think this is our home base. This is we got home. all of our luggage unpacked there. We've like everything's there. familiar. Yeah, we slept there for a whole week and kind of understand nope. the blocks. What's on this corner? What's on that True. corner? True. Yeah. This feels more comfortable. And then uh, since we left for Kyoto and Osaka, it's just been kind of like an adventure. Like. We don't know where adventure. we're going. Yeah, going here, yeah. there, here, there. Like, all we had our luggage. luggage. Yeah. Oh, here, this bag. Yeah, so all my clothes. Underwear, one pair of socks, one, one t shirt, that's it. He wore this yesterday. Yeah, well, I yeah. wore this yesterday. I did change my shirt out. I did too. This is a sweater. Uh, I'm a sweaty mofo. So I, got fresh, I just got fresh underwear and then a t shirt. Yep. Everything else is the same thing. I'm happy to be taking off my boots, putting on some comfy, comfy Nikes. But for now, I'm calling it a whoa, what the hell happened? You almost fell there, I got you. I got you. So clumsy, dude. So for tonight, I think I'm calling it a night. Um, yeah. Yay for being home. We have a few more days here. It's kind of like I'm slowly getting ready to go back home for sure. How about you? I am. I missed the pump pumps. Oh, me too. Okay, bye. I can feel my face when I'm with you. Target and the right hand is ready to go. Bam! And then they shoot them down. How cool! 